He grew up in Pretoria but ended um, attended a Paul Boys High School, which is one of the most prestigious rugby schools in the country. He's representing Paul Boys' first team in 2018. He was selected for the Western Province Carbon Week. Now, the side and ended up with being selected for the South Africa School's side in 2018. Signing up for the Sharks in 2019, he continued to impress and made his senior, de senior debut for the Sharks during the 2019 Curry Cup against Free State Cheetahs. He was also selected for the SA Under-19 side that toured to Georgia at the end of last year. He was named Sharks Under-21 player of the year. This was last year. Um, and this year he was part of the Sharks Super Rugby squad and was set to represent the South Africa Under-20 side at the IRB Junior World Championship, which was then cancelled due to COVID-19 because everything got affected by COVID-19. He's currently training with the Sharks Curry Cup side. He has only just gotten into his 20s. He also plays the position for loose forward. His name is Ivan Ruiz. Ivan, welcome to Super TV. How are you doing? I'm good and you? Fantastic, thanks. So you were mentioning that the weather in Durban is just a bit, a bit chilly, a bit um, clouded a bit. Um, so what will you be doing for the rest of the day today? Uh, after this, I'll probably uh, make some food and uh, chill, maybe watch a movie or play some PlayStation with my housemate. Oh, cool. So what, what, what will you be eating? What will you be making? Uh, probably a pasta tonight. Probably hey. like a spaghetti bolognese or something, yeah. You can cook? I can cook. I nice. Can cook indeed. <laughs> Who taught you? Um, my mom. I just gave credit to my mom. She taught me how to cook. I uh, call her every now and again and ask her some tips. So yeah, she's the mastermind behind it all. Now Evan, what would your name be? Now I'm going to rename you. I'm going to give you a new name. What would your name be if it was the color of the shoes that you're wearing right now and what you had for uh, supper last night? Well, I'm barefoot now. So, <laughs> uh, so white and what I had last night? I had steak, white steak. Ah, uh, oh my gosh, that would be so weird. Yeah, that would be a weird name. What's, yeah. <laughs> what's, one, uh, what's the one thing that we definitely would find in your fridge any day of the month, every month? Eggs. Is it? A lot of eggs, yeah. Why eggs? It's a good source of protein. Okay, okay. Thought as much. Now, yeah. you, were, you were part of the uh, Sharks Super Rugby squad that was meant to represent South Africa, the under-20s. But COVID-19 happened, all the restrictions. How has life been for you um, during the COVID-19 restrictions the last five months? Um, yeah, obviously, in the beginning, it was quite a disappointment because uh, you obviously set goals and want to achieve them. But I must say it was quite a nice um, time to get some perspective on life and to realize life isn't just about rugby and everything that goes around it. Um, I went back to home to Cape Town in the lockdown and honestly it was the best time with my family. I mean it's a solid two months with just my family and I really enjoyed it and um, got up to catch up with my studying and everything and so I always try to see the positive in any problem that I uh, get to our face. So yeah, I always, um, I actually enjoyed lockdown quite a bit. So what are you studying? You mentioned that you, was, you went back into your books and studying during lockdown. Yeah, I studied BCom, marketing and financial management. Nice. I hated finance. I hated financial management with all my heart <laughs> and varsity. All the books, uh, you're doing the books. It's, it is tough. Stats and all that stuff. <laughs> So you grew up in Pretoria and you went to attend Power Boys High School. Um, why Power specifically? Um, honestly, Power is such a pretty, pretty um, town. And um, the school, Power Boys High, obviously. Um, I played against them when I was grade eight. Um, I only moved in my grade 10 year to Cape Town. So when I was grade eight, um, playing for Uffies, I played against Power Boys and they were the only team that won us that year. So. When I wanted to move, I wanted to move to the school that beat me. And um, <laughs> yeah, but honestly, I think it's the biggest, best choice of my life that I attended Bob was I. Massive, massive memories, good people and great friends made there. And what school were you in when you played against Paul? I was in Uffies. Okay. Now you were selected to play the South Africa school side in 2018. 
And can you take us through that moment, how everything panned out, how it was for you, what, what you learned out of it? Um, yeah, so uh, the school season was going well, not as well as I wanted to go. And um, having injury the previous year before Craven Week and everything, I was quite um, quite nervous going into Craven Week. Um, scared I won't be able to perform to be selected. But um, yeah, I was blessed enough to have a good Craven Week. And um, the week after Craven Week, they announced the team. And um, I was around my good mates when they the results came through. So yeah, that's a blessing. And um, yeah, the rest is history. It was so fun. Such a good experience, good tour. What was the first thing you did to celebrate? Um, well, I gave my friends hugs and uh, <laughs> then I had to shoot off to my accounting class. So it wasn't much uh... time for celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> and how did you balance rugby, school um, and a personal life? Because you still need a personal life. You still need your friends. So how did you balance all of that? Um, it is tough. Uh, there were a few late nights, and um, but uh, we, yeah, Paul boys and I made um, uh, sent us our homework while we were at SA schools and um, emailed all our work for us and everything. So in our off time, we fitted it all in. So it is it is tough, but um, if you have the will, then it, it is doable. So going into the Sh Sharks Curry Cup side, um, you guys are going back into training. Are you ready? I can't wait, yeah, um, hopefully, yeah, I'll get a shot, but I'm so, yeah, I'm so happy to be training again, and I miss the boys a lot, yeah. and it's a good bunch of chains together, and the vibe, and uh, uh, the camaraderie between the boys are good, so yeah, we're excited for the season. And how were you training during the, the, the lockdown, because, I mean, with rugby, you need the team to train with, so how were you keeping fit? Um, so luckily, uh, me and the a physical conditioning coach at my old school, our very close mates. And um, he gave me the gym keys and said, take what you need and take it back home. So I had a bunch of weights and I had a assault bike and everything. So, cause I'm very into fitness and everything. So I managed and I made sure I had um, stuff to keep me fit and healthy during lockdown. So when, do you know the exact date for your next game? Um, I can't tell you the exact, exact exact date i think there may be a friendly end of this month if i i'm um, speaking on a correction i think the 28th of september but i don't know if it's concrete yet or not but i'm 90 sure it's on that date and um who are you guys playing with i think we're playing the bulls in a sort of a marvel day type of thing like we had at the beginning of the year so i think we're playing the bulls at loftus if i'm not if i'm not wrong i hope it will be an easy win for you guys <laughs> Uh, you never know the Bulls. Bulls at Loftus is always a challenge. So, yeah. Um, yeah, always going to be tough. So what's the one thing that you have taken out of this year? Um, patience. It's taken, yeah, patience and um, perspective. Um, learned a lot. It's been a, it's been a wild year, but I'm always grateful for the lessons learned and the people around me who always helped and um, looked after me. And which international team would you want to land yourself in? Obviously for the Springboks. Yay, yay, good choice. Because I was like, yay, I was hoping you say the Springboks. And yeah, what you, would you want to carry on with the position that you're playing? Yeah, I'm very comfortable at least forward. And um, yeah, I would always yeah, try to make it there. Have you tried, um, have you played other positions? Yeah, I've played. Uh, primary school, you can ask all rugby players, um, everyone plays a different bunch of positions. So I've played hooker, I've played lock, I've played center, I've played wing, but those are primary school days. Yeah, okay. So Evan, can we ask you just some of our super quiz questions just to get to know you a little bit more off the field? No problem. Awesome, okay. First one up, what is your favorite meal ever? Like you could have this every day if you could. A pizza. Which pizza? I would say a chicken abo and feta. Okay, high five to you. There we go. <laughs> and what's your favorite drink? I'm a coffee addict. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have a coffee mug in front of me. I get, I, I get it. Coffee addict. And have doesn't to. it affect you with playing and your chest? No, actually. So I, I enjoy the caffeine. It gives me a little kick. 
so obviously not overboard but i have a, like between four and five cups a day so yeah i enjoy it that's a lot <laughs> that is a lot but it keeps me going now if you had five minutes to relocate right now what are the five things you would take with you yo that's a tough one um i'll take my books that i read my playstation my car and a bag full of clothes probably <laughs> One and, more. Uh, let's see. And a cup of coffee. Ah, mom, girlfriend, best friend. No. Uh, yo, yo, maybe my mom. <laughs> my big mom, mama's boy. So, yeah, my mom. Don't hey. have a girlfriend yet. So. Okay, no, don't rush it. Don't rush uh, it. No, not planning. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you were taking out the trash and you find a big bag filled with money, would you take it or would you report it? Yo, you're questioning my ethics, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a safe space, don't worry. You're randomly on the street. Yeah, yeah. Uh, probably keep the money out. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you won the lottery, would you rather lose the winning ticket or would you rather get robbed, get robbed with the money that you have? No, I'd rather lose the winning ticket. You want to have the money in your hands and then lose it. <laughs> Don't you feel though it's it's worse when it's a winning ticket because you're like, will somebody else get it? Who will get it? You know. So you, you show about the ticket. Ways, so if I had to choose. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you had to come back in the next lifetime, who would you come back as? Yo, that's tough. Um, I'd come back as. I'd come back as my little brother, to be honest. I've got an eight-year-old brother and his life seems so chill and <laughs> we love him to bits. So I can imagine having all that love. Life can't be too bad. So yeah, I'd come back as my little brother. That is so cool. That is so cool. Your brother should, I hope he's watching and he knows how much you too. love him. Now, no, <laughs> if you were an animal, which one would you be? I'd be a lion. Why? I feel, yeah the way they hunt and yeah just the whole characteristics characteristics around the line uh i relate to it quite a lot do you have any hidden talents hidden talents so i wasn't a it wasn't a school musical back in high school uh i think it was it was paul girl's eye the girl's school in paul uh cinderella uh, <laughs> i was a soldier in the musical they didn't sing just dance <laughs> but on dance <laughs> And uh, no, I don't have, that's the closest to hidden talent. And cooking, I think cooking counts. Okay, yeah, that, okay, that's pretty cool. So you were in a musical. Did you, did, was. was it just that one or did you do more than just the Cinderella? No, that was just one, one time thing. Oh, that's pretty cool. But I mean, yeah, dancing, you can't dance, sing. How's that going? No, I didn't try and improve it after that. So I left it there. <laughs> it was a good experience, but I left it there. And if you were to choose, would you choose a sports car, SUV, a bucky or a bike? A uh, bucky. Nice. Yay. Yay. First person to say a bucky. Yes, we there love buckies. <laughs> Do you have any tattoos or piercings? No. Okay. Interesting. What is the song that is most played in your library? It is probably Kings of Leon, uh, Pyro. And who was the last artist or song that you listened to? Uh, Foo Fighters. Uh, yeah, the song Hero from Foo Fighters. Nice. Okay, Evan, it has been such an honor chatting to you. I'm wishing you nothing but the best with training coming up this week and the game that you guys have towards the end of the month. I'll be watching because I am quite a fan of the Sharks. So, yeah, you can go back to enjoying your day and cooking and probably just post a picture, tag us so that we can see you cooking. Ah, uh, cool, I will, no problem. Thank you for having me. Such a, such a nice, nice thing. Thank you. Okay, all the okay, best cool. with everything. Cheers. Thank you, there too. Cheers. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was our sports superstar with our super guest, Evan Rusk.